What up, PB Cashville? It's your boy Cashew, and today we are going to be talking about Xbox and their ideas of what they have in the future. But before we do talk about that, right beside me is going to be our Instagram and TikTok. Leave a follow and leave a like on YouTube. Hit it. What up, PB Cashville? It's your boy Cashew, and I'm very excited to talk about Xbox in this episode because I actually I don't remember what was the last time we actually talked about like Xbox and Sony and Nintendo. I want to say it was like maybe a couple months ago, and I'm just excited to talk about this one because this is fresh. This is actually new because in you know on Thursday, the big people in Xbox, I guess the president, the co-president, they were talking about their ideas and what they have in store for xbox and what they want to do and so i wanted to talk about it i feel like it's a it's a win situation actually i think for the business perspective and the player's perspective so let me go a little detail into it so rumors came out i think last week where xbox is going to probably become a third party company and make video games and not have a console no more and that they're going to give out their exclusive games even their big ones to other platforms well the president i think his name is phil he mentioned that there's going to be a they're going to have a business discussion like a business meeting in a, in a podcast and they did it was pretty cool i, I was listening to it and i was watching her and you know i think what he said was there's four games that are coming out exclu that were exclusive for the Xbox that are going to different platforms. So the different platforms are uh, PlayStation and Nintendo. And I think, if okay, let me see. The four games were High Rush, Pe Pentiment, Seas of Thieves, and Grounded. And he was telling when they were talking about their exclusive games, they were saying that they were, they were looking at games that were maybe a year old, you know, that just came out a year ago, and, and that's, like, kind of a little, you know, it's kind of developing. And that's pretty cool that they're doing that because, like, in a business perspective, it makes sense because you're trying to make more money. But at the same time, you're also trying to get more people to go to Xbox and, and play Xbox. And, you know, and I also think for a player's perspective, it's a win, too, because there's some players that... You know, they like Sony, they like PlayStation better than Xbox, and they'd rather have the PlayStation. And so, let's say if there's a game that one of those, if they want to play one of those games, now they have an opportunity to do that. You know, and I think Xbox is doing something pretty cool. And I was going to talk more, get into detail about, like, when it comes to, like, I don't, what I think Xbox is not going to do is, like, give out their big exclusive games, like Gears of War and Halo you know, Starfield, they said it was not going to be another one. Uh, the new Indiana Jones, he said that that's not coming out. So I think they're bigger ones, like the ones that are well-known and that thrives in Xbox. I think those will stay exclusive. I think it's the little ones that, yeah, they're really good, but they can give it to other platforms to, you know, so they can help branch out the Xbox and branch out Microsoft. And I think that's good in, in both business and players' perspective. Now, when it comes to exclusive games, I was the I was debating about this a lot actually not too long ago. I really think the console that has the best like exclusive games, and you can disagree with me is Nintendo. You know, because Nintendo has Pokemon, they have Mario, they have Zelda, they have Metroid. You know, they have Star Fox. Like they have all these like Kirby. They have all these exclusive games that you they would not send to the xbox or playstation like they will just have a nintendo and then i think sony is second and xbox is third now you could argue and say that well sony does have spider-man it has uncharted it has god of war and yeah those are great games and those are good games but i really believe that nintendo has better exclusive games now when we're talking about better graphics that's a toss-up because playstation the PlayStation 5 does have some great graphics, but the new Xbox also like 
the, the graphics is such a toss up for me because like I feel like no matter where if I play in the PlayStation Five or if I even play in the Xbox One, you know X series, I feel like the graphics are still the same. Maybe I don't remember. I get. I think if I'm mistaken, the PlayStation Five is supposed to be um the the graphics design card stuff that's supposed to be higher has a higher resolution. So I don't know. But overall, me personally, I love playing Xbox. I have an Xbox, and I'm more of an Xbox person. I used to be PlayStation, but uh, when I was a teenager, I think my mom got me the Xbox 360, and all I just did was, you know, I used to get games in the Xbox, and I got so used to playing the Xbox. And I'm not dissing the PlayStation, because I love the PlayStation 2, and there's a lot of fun games. That, like I said, they have a lot of exclusive games that are fun in the, in the PlayStation that I wish I could play, like... Spider-Man. I played the first one. Didn't play the second one. I saw my brother play the second one. It looked pretty good. Uh, What else we got? Oh, God of War. I only... I have not played the new God of Wars, but I've seen it. So, like, there's some games that I would like to play, but I don't have it. I don't have the PlayStation. I don't have... The, I have the Xbox. And I have some of those, ex you know, the exclusive Xbox games. I do have, like, on um, Gears of War, which Gears of War is probably one of my favorite exclusive and I'm just glad that it's like, you know, it's like I said, it's like one of my favorites exclusives. And like I said, like, I think for me personally, like just listening to them and them talking about it, I think this is just a good idea for Xbox to branch out and let other platforms have some of these exclusive games. So when players that, like I said, that play PlayStation or play Nintendo if they like that game, if they know that, oh, Xbox is the one that makes it, I wonder what other exclusive games they have, boom, you got them right there, you know, and I think that's pretty cool. And another thing I think this will be cool, too, is um, cross-play will get, that will help out with cross-play. You know, you you think about it, PlayStation, you know, everybody keeps asking PlayStation and Xbox to cross-play with games, and they have been doing that, but I'm talking about, like, exclusive games, like, uh, he was talking about how, like, let's say, for example, your friend, you know, you have friends that have, or he didn't say the, you know, the platform, let's just say have a PlayStation, and you have the Xbox, and let's say High Rush is on Xbox, and your friend wants to play High Rush, and now it's coming out for PlayStation, and if it's like a multiplayer game, you guys can cross-play, you know, cross-play, you, cross you know, where PlayStation and Xbox can both play together, you know, multiplayer. I think that'll be pretty cool, too. Like I said, um, I think for me personally, like it's a smart decision. I don't like I said, I don't think they're gonna give out their big ones like Gears of War, but I think they will give out their smaller ones. And another thing they said too is like it was to help developers, you know, like game developers, which that makes sense too, you know, because now that game's coming out for other platforms and it's a you know, if it's a new game developer and people love it it helps out with money wise and it helps out for that developer to maybe make another game, maybe a sequel, maybe a different game. So I think it's a, a big, I think that's a big thing for Xbox. And I think they're doing something great for the game, the gaming community. And I'm glad that they're doing that. You know, like I said, I don't think it's going to be the big ones. I think it'll be the smaller ones, but it's a great, it's a great idea, you know, to help out the game industry, you know, try to, Get you know, try to branch out and and try to get people to get to play the Xbox. Do whatever you can. I give that a a great. I think that's just a great idea. And before we do, before I do go and end the show and everything, I just do want to say this, and that is this: is I'm trying to think of how I'm going to say this. So I am doing this at late at night, and the reason why I'm doing this late at night is because I got to do you know in the morning I'm going to be doing a couple of things. But I am planning on, I really do want to plan on trying to get more content out there. What I mean more content, I mean like maybe do more like try to be more interactive in the in our TikTok, be more interactive in our YouTube. So I'm going to be make, coming up with ideas. I don't know what's it going to be about. I don't know what they are yet. But I am going to make ideas to see how can I be more, how can we have more content out there. Not only like me just doing a podcast and talking or, or PB if whenever he comes back doing a podcast and talking, but maybe doing like fun interaction stuff. That's all I just wanted to say. Now, before I go, like we always say before we end the show, we don't know you 
but we love you, and there's a God above that does. I'm Cashew. Peace out, PB Cashewville. <laughs>